Hi everyone and welcome back to another Hatton's live stream. Uh, my name's Jack and today we're joined by our Managing Director Richard as you can see just to my left. And as the title may suggest we are talking a bit about our brand new service which is called Hatton's Trunk today. And I can already see there's a couple of guys down here in the chat. We've got Gareth Waite and we've got 700 Shunters so hello everyone thanks for joining us. Um, and Gareth's asking, what is the Hatton's Trunk service? So we will be going through that in great detail here today. Um, any questions that you do have, get them down there in the chat and I'll be able to ask uh, those for you and we'll see if we can get you an answer. We've also got 700 Chunta says, good day from Australia, Hatton's, hope you guys are well. And we've got Southway1943 says, hi, Jack and Richard. So uh, thanks, Rich, oh. for joining us once again. No problem. Yeah, pleased to be here and uh, excited to hear what our um, customers think about this, uh, this this system. Absolutely. Now, obviously, if you want to watch this back at all, if you join us a little bit later on in the stream, um, we are going to be going through the trunk service in great detail here today for you. So it should give you a bit of an idea of what this new service is going to be. We are looking to launch this pretty soon, hopefully next week at some point. But we'd love to hear your thoughts on it first. So if you want to let us know anything about it, do get it down there in the comments. Do let us know via our website as well. There will be a link to that in the chat at some point as well. And I'll be running through it on the screen as well so you'll be able to see all about it. And um, we've got a few more people down here in the chat. We've got Southway9043 says, can I get a shout out? So there you go. <laughs> and then we've got New Junction here as well says, good afternoon both. So hello to everyone there. Thanks for joining us. Wow. Right. So what I'm going to do is cut across to our website, which has got some great detail on this new service. So basically how Hatton's Trunk is going to work basically is it's a way for you to essentially um, delay the shipment of, an, of any items that you'd like to get to you. So basically there's this very simple new uh, addition to all the product pages on our website which will be put on called Add to Trunk. And when you do that it essentially goes into a holding area um, where you'll be able to get that shipped to you at a later date. So... The thinking behind this is really, you know, especially at the times at the moment, we're dealing with very sort of tricky times um, with the coronavirus situation and things like that. It kind of gives people the opportunity to have all of their items bundled together, potentially if there is a situation where we have to stop shipping for any reason, if there's any government guidance around that, you will be able to have those items secured for you and then they'll be able to come out to you at a later date. Isn't that right, Rich? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we, we've already had quite a lot of uh, questions about um, novel ways that it can be used. And uh, we we are really interested to hear even, even more. Uh, one, one email I just had just said uh, that it's going to help reduce the number of parcels that uh, the customer receives. But it's also going to reduce the number of questions that his wife asks about right. uh, about the parcels. Well, if it's just one parcel coming through, then there's not lots of different parcels and lots of different uh, justifications that you'll need, I suppose, in that case. Say, yeah, yeah, it will allow me to place small orders in the trunk and wait until I have a reasonable size delivery before requesting you to send. It may also have the added advantage of persuading my wife that I'm ordering fewer model railway items if fewer deliveries arrive. <laughs> so it, yeah as i say it's just less of a justification then isn't it it makes it a lot easier to get it passed uh that's one thing that we i have seen a few questions about as well is that it actually makes it easier for a lot of you guys who are internationally based as well so if you're over in america or new zealand australia anywhere else in the world it makes it a lot easier to package all your items into one go and then you don't have to get lots of different items sent um across the world basically so there's a few different benefits to it there as well a couple of people have asked as well if this is a service that will be ongoing even after the coronavirus situation and yeah that is something that we potentially will look to keep in the future as well hopefully right i'm just going to take a quick look at the chat because i can see a lot of comments coming through here um we've got southway 1943 says hattons are keeping me busy i've already had four parcels this week two more on the way hattons are brilliant so thank you very much for shopping with us um john Kalitsis, sorry if I said that wrong. So sounds like a great idea. Look forward to hearing more. Um, Delta Junction James says afternoon. Brockle Lane says hello. Um, R32 Gaming, hello. King Ori as well. Taze. Uh, John10848 plays games. Asks, would you be able to combine orders in future with this new service? Pretty much, yes. So how it would work is you, whenever you add anything to your trunk, 
Um, this can be placed at separate times, basically, and it will all be added there for future use. So what I'll t show you in a second is you'll basically have a new trunk page um, within your account, which you can see everything that you've added into that area. And then you can send it all out in one go. There's just a nice big button that says send these items now. So that'll be, I'm sure that'll be very satisfying for, um, for people to, to click in the future. Um, right, so we'll head back over to the website now. We'll talk through it a little bit more. So... As I said earlier, there'll be a new button which will be on most of the product pages, as you see here, which says add to trunk. And then basically this will be going through to your new trunk page, as you see here. So within this area, you'll be able to see any products that you've placed within there, how many were added and when they were added. You can obviously remove them if you don't fancy that item anymore. And obviously you can have them sent out to you as well. How it works is the payment will be taken um, for the item when it's placed into the trunk, but the payment for the postage won't be. That'll only be taken um, once you get them shipped out to you. And as you can see, when you go so, to your checkout oh, area... Sorry, yeah, could, you, could we just confirm just about the, um, the charging for the goods, just to confirm that the, the goods are charged at the time when they're added to the trunk? Yeah, that's absolutely right, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, right. um, we'll have the... <clears throat> like Rich says there, uh, whenever they're added to the trunk, you will be charged for it then. But as I say, once uh, it's ready to be dispatched, we'll take the postage cost for it then. But you will have already paid to secure your goods uh, when you add them to your trunk. As you can see here as well, uh, on the checkout, there will be a trunk section. So you can clearly see um, that that is being added to your trunk and not being sent out to you straight away. And then once you're ready to get your trunk uh, uh, items sent out to you, there will be the trunk checkout page, which is what happens when you click the send items now button within your trunk page. And in this area, it will enable you to see all the different items that you've got in your trunk currently and what is going to be shipped out to you. You'll pay the shipping charge at the time of dispatch, as I mentioned earlier. And VAT is taken into account for those of you guys living outside of the EU. And this page will remain active, but we will be disabling the select the suffix shipping charge feature if we do need to suspend dispatch. So basically what that means is if there is any more government guidance, as I say, on whether we need to suspend dispatch operations, your trunk will still be there and all the items that you've ordered and paid for will still remain in that section. But um, we will suspend the option to have it shipped and then that will be re-enabled when we are able to do so. Going down a little bit more. You've also got your trunk options page. So this has got a little bit of customization here. So you can change your default payment card that it'll take for those orders and your delivery address in case you need to change that. You can also select the option to trunk all your pre-orders. And you can also choose your reminder day for the items that you have in your trunk as well. So you'll get a nice handy email there <clears throat> whenever these need to come through. Like I say, guys, I can see there's a lot of great questions coming there. And Rich is very handily uh, answering any questions down there in the chat as well. I can see a lot coming through. So any questions you do have on this service, do let us know. And any feedback and comments is greatly appreciated because we'd love to know what you guys think before it all goes live. Just to go through the basics really quickly again, as you can see here, and I will link to this article on the website for you as well. Um, there will be this really nice simple button. It's right next to the add to cart button which is add to trunk, and that will go into your trunk page, as you see once again, and you'll be able to see all these different items. And if you've only just joined us, this basically enables you to hold an item and it will be indefinitely held at the Hatton's warehouse until a later date when you want it all to be shipped at once. So this basically enables you to combine all your orders in one go. Anything you'd like to add while we're talking about this section, Rich? No, uh, I think you're doing a great job, and I'm really enjoying seeing the questions come through. Um, Hatton Marriage Rescue Service probably will have to wait for another one, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> it probably launched a lot of marriage um, troubling services but in the products in the past. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, enjoying, I mean, I'm really enjoying being part of this. Thank you for uh, setting it up, Jack. No, no problem. I've got guys going so well so far. 
Um, like you say, though, yeah. I mean, hopefully this makes marriage a little bit easier for some people if it helps to justify some of the orders coming through. New Junction there actually saying this trunking system might save my marriage, so um, add into that for you. Uh, we've got John Ruddy says, I think it will be handy for pre-owned items so I can buy something as soon as it's listed, but wait until I have a bigger delivery arranged. That's a really good example of how you could use this, basically. So it's one thing people have been asking is, that, well, mentioning, should I say, is that it's a great way to secure pre-owned items. So you can jump straight on those so you don't miss out on those hot and rare items that we do get into the pre-owned area. But then if you didn't want to just buy that one item and pay for the postage cost on that, you could combine it with some other items you buy later. And another point on that is, which someone mentioned earlier, I believe, is with the pre-orders as well. So you can combine your pre-orders in there. And then if obviously you'd had some, you you might be waiting a, a couple of months for something to come out. It might be a good time you can add uh, a couple of pre-owned items or any other items in there. And then they'll all ship together once the pre-order comes in instead of it all coming in different parcels, which is, is quite a handy way for this to work. Um, we've got uh, John Kalaitis says, uh, perfect pronunciation, Jack. So I got your name right there. So thanks very much for that. Um, Senator Shunta asks, what's the maximum number of items that can be stored in the trunk at once? Now, that's a really good question, actually. Do you know the answer to that, Rich? Well, um, it's basically as much... A, that's one of the constraints we're going to have to keep an eye on, is how much volume is being occupied on our shelves with products that are sold. Um, and measuring that against the, the, the space that we've got available for unsold stock. Uh, but we've got decent systems that'll help us keep track of that. So um, we, we're not going to put a. We did have visions of um, putting a limit on how long people would hold the trunk, could hold the trunk for. This service, we were designing it before the coronavirus. Um, but because these circumstances are, are, are unique, then that's why we've accelerated launching it. And, and we'll just see how it goes. Um, so you're unlikely to get a phone call from us saying it's taking up too much space. Um, but uh, but it'd be interesting if that did happen. Absolutely, it's the old adage, isn't it, of necessity is the mother of invention, really, isn't it? So it's something like you say we've been working on for a little while, but it's almost the perfect time to try it out with what's going on um, in the world at the moment. Um, yeah. yeah. So we've got. It's, a few... it's interesting that it's the uh, the international customers who, in particular, seem to be uh, recognising its potential. Absolutely. And it's, uh, it's, it, it is having listened to, to customers around the world. And a lot of people love the uh, DHL service that we offer. And a, a lot of people seem to be engaged with accumulating orders. Um, put, the, 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 the emails I've had, well, they, the people are saying that they'll add bits and pieces to their trunk. And then once it gets big enough to send with DHL, that's what they'll do. I mean, there's so many situations where I can see this being handy because, you know, there's always that case of, oh, I forgot to add my pack of fish blades. Oh, I forgot to add that decoder into the order. And with this, you've almost got a little bit of a safety net. So you can buy those items and get them secured and are all ready to go. But if you were just thinking, oh, there's a couple of things I need to consider here. If you, maybe you're building a new layout or something like that. You've got everything there. It's all ready to be shipped. It's all secured. But there's just that safety net there if you needed to add a few more items or something like that. So there's, like I say, there's a lot of different uses here. And one thing to remember with this as well is obviously this is a totally new service. And like we say, one of the reasons we're doing a stream today and why we're letting you know about it early is to get your feedback on it. So um, once it is launched to you, hopefully next week, we do encourage any and all comments and for you guys to keep telling us what you think about the service and to almost you know, test it as much as you can and try and find out um, every every limit and possibility with it because we'd love to know um, what you think and how, how you're going to use it, basically. So do just try and keep in touch with us as much as possible and let us know what you think. Um, we've got... Um, Gareth Waite says he did wonder the other day what this was about, so he's got to find out more. Um, Southway1943 says, can a deposit be paid or do you pay in full? Now, I believe you just pay in full as you would for a normal order, really. Um, we've got... Taze says, how long can items be left in the trunk for? One month, two months, or can it be longer? I believe it's just indefinite at the moment, isn't it, Reg? That's right, yeah. Um, we, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes, and... Um... I, I don't know though. So, so when you when you when when coming up with the concept of this and we pitch it to people, then you say, so how about if you wanted to leave um, some items with us and then have them sent a bit later on? 
some people would say, yeah, I'd love a couple of days to think about it. And then, and then, and, and other people would say, yeah, I'd love six months and just have it delivered when uh, one person said, I live in Greece for half the year. And um, so I'm building a big railway in Greece. And so I want to build the stuff up for six months a year when I'm in the UK. And then I'm going to have it all sent to Greece. Um, and it, well, I suppose it depends on how big the, uh, the layout is, but it's, it's, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And, you know, we, 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 we want it to be here to, we want it to be used. So, so, um, absolutely. That's totally it. We want you guys to use this, like I say, test its limits and <clears throat> we'll see how you guys get on with it and we'll tailor the service as it needs to be down the line. If there's any changes that need to be made, we'll let you know and keep that updated as well. But like I say, at the moment, it's all fairly open, so you guys can try it out and and see what you need to do with it, really. Um, we've got New Junction in the chat. There's a HMRS, the Hatton's Marriage Rescue Service, has a ring to it, so that might be something we need to look at in the future. Um, we've got Brockwell Lane um, asks, are we still getting new items in from manufacturers? Um, currently, yes, we are. It just depends, really, who's... Um, still shipping things out at the moment. I believe the majority of manufacturers are still shipping um, re re replenishment of stock and things like that. Um, yeah. But we'll with things like pre-orders and new items that haven't come out yet, um, all the latest dates that we get will be clearly updated on the pages for those if there's any changes. But we'll we'll just try to keep you posted, guys, if there's any changes to that. Um, we've got. Oh, Taze Taze makes a point about uh, personally one month is fine for me it means I can just get the the one delivery per month. I, I suppose that like um, having that functionality is is, is ideal. Well, so some people might say in theory that that would be enough, but then let's just say that you saw uh, a pre-owned item that you really wanted on the website. There was just one of them, and you really wanted to get it in the next couple of days. So we're trying to kind of build the functionality so that you can use it in in ways that you yourself didn't think you were going to need it. Um, and and we, we were a pretty quick bunch, really. So as these different use cases come up, then, then we'll, we'll adapt it and, and try and make it work for everyone. That's it. And what's great is obviously even just the comments that you guys are leaving here today, you've suggested some ideas for how you're going to use it, which we might not even consider either. So one thing that I think Taze has mentioned there as well is that it actually means he'll be able to um, budget better for his models as well. So um, obviously hold them all in one place. That's, you know, another really good use case for it. So we'll just see, we'll see, like Rich says, we'll see how you guys use it and we'll we'll keep working on it as, as the demand for it um, changes really. Um, we've got. There, there was a question I saw about uh, click and collect from Paul Daly. Uh, afternoon, guys. Will I still be able to collect from the shop after I place the items in the trunk? Obviously, once the coronavirus has passed and we're back to normal. Well, that that is actually uh, that's going to be perfectly possible, and you'll be able to use that in conjunction with. I don't think we actually put out a specific. Um, do you know, Jack, if we put anything out about the lockers that we've ordered that will be situated outside the hub and accessible 24-7, where you'll be able to build up your collection, the contents of your trunk for whatever period. And then if you decide that you want to come and pick them up from Hatton's at 6 a.m. on a Sunday morning, then our trunk, our lock, our lockers will be outside uh, and you'll be able to do that. So those two services will work in conjunction with each other. And we'll be able to tell you more about those lockers in the next couple of weeks. That's great to know. Thanks for sharing that with us, Rich. Um, obviously, you might have seen that little update we did put out a little, I think it was a couple of weeks ago now, that we put out initially about our new lockers that will be coming into play soon. But as Rich says, hopefully we should have some more details on those very soon for you guys as well. So for you who are looking to collect items in the store, that'll be a bit of a revolutionary change there. So you can come at different times of the day to come and pick stuff up. Um, we've got... Do, 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 do. Got quite a lot of good comments here today, so thanks very much, guys. Um, Hood fifty zero three one says works on the six class fifties at the SVR. Um, fifty zero five zero Felix is a top machine, Richard. Um, we've got. Um, T says one month is fine for them. Uh, it means you just get one delivery per month instead of lots of different orders. So quite a good use case there. Um. We've got a product question. We've got Delta Junction James says, is there any news on the bullhead points? I'm not too sure at the moment, to be honest with you. 
Um, but one good idea, which is something you've actually given me a great time to lead into something else that I wanted to talk about today, which is our Hatton's live sessions with some of our uh, different team members. So this morning we ran our first one at 11 a.m., but there will be another session today at 3 p.m. And this is basically just an open forum for anyone to come and chat about model railways, ask whatever you like, have a chat with our team. It could be anyone who's on there. I might be on there for a little bit. You might see some other familiar faces like Dave or perhaps even Rich at some point or you might see some of our other help desk team members and some other people on there and it's just a, a great way to have a chat and obviously with the way things are at the moment it's a great way to keep in touch with the hobby and just talk about the railways really so if you've got any other questions like that about specific products and things like that coming through that might be a perfect time to ask it is over on our <clears throat> on our live um, section which is on at three o'clock today if you head to the front page of our website we do have an article which lists when those sessions are going to take place and there's links on there to um join in as well so that's a, a great way to to keep involved with the hobby at this time um who else have we got here we've got brock Lane asks um again another great question there which is which livery of your 66s is um, being the most popular so far so it's a bit of a tricky question that one because we have had so many different liveries come through there's been 31 already and there's plenty more to come in the future so um i can't i, I couldn't think of the top of my head probably large logo blue or something like that but another mm -hmm. another great question there to um have a further discussion about in one of our live sessions i think um We've got Southway 1943 again says another great idea is for Christmas presents, this system. So that is a really good point, actually, because it could be that a really hot selling item comes in and you want to nab it quickly, but you might not want to just get it all sent together for Christmas. So you could nab those items whenever they appear through the year or like we've seen before with pre-owned items, you could nab those in there, but then keep it all waiting and then that'll be that'll be ready to ship for Christmas. Um, I believe I've seen a few people on our social media mentioning that idea as well. Mm. Um, we've also got Tay says got my sound fitted six six seven eight nine earlier this week and it's a stunning model, um, which is great to hear. So glad you're enjoying it. Uh, and then we've got Software ninety forty three again says if you can't get a sound fitted six six, you can get a decent uh, DCC ready version, and you can buy the sound chip separately. So that's that's an idea there as well. Now, one other thing as well, which I'd like to mention quickly today, is if you're not currently aware of our VTail service as well. So, as you can see behind me, this is our lovely uh, VTail store, and you can book one of these appointments for a special one-on-one -on -one consultation session with one of our product experts. It might, again, it might be me, it might be some other familiar faces, or it could be one of our other product experts in the team, and you can basically book to discuss any particular topic that you like you just fill in a little form before giving us a bit of an idea of what you'd like to talk to us about and we can um prepare in advance and get as much information for you and this is like i say it's one-on-one -on -one. you can talk about whatever you like to whoever you speak to and it basically means you can get the answers to any questions you like from the comfort of your own home. There's no need to go online, no need to go anywhere else. You just talk to one of us. There is no camera requirement either. You can just speak to us over the mic. If you do want to switch your video on, that's perfectly fine. But it's totally up to you, whichever way you want to, to do it, really. So, like I say, this is a really great way to um, find out the answers to any questions you've got or to have a bit more of a forward discussion. And the sessions last for up to 20 minutes as well, so a great amount of time to, to have a, a chat there. And there's full details about that on our website as well, so you can book an appointment as well. Pretty much um, any time, 9 to 5, um, through the week, you can do it. Uh, we have a question there from Southway 1943 as well, just asking about Platform 1, and Rich has kindly uh, mentioned in the chat that there won't be a Platform 1 this week, unfortunately. But, like I say, there is a lot of different other ways you can get involved with the Hats community at the moment. As we I've just mentioned, you can book one of our VTEL calls, or you can jump into one of our live discussion sessions with other modelers and our team as well. And the next one of those is going to be at 3pm today. So, guys, if there's any other questions you've got about Trunk or any other things going on at the moment that happens, do get them down in the chat for us. If you've only come in uh, recently to the stream, um, you can check back um, to the start of this one later and you can get a bit more of an idea about our Trunk system as well. I will post a link for you guys into the chat now as well to get some more details on it. So bear with me one second and I'll just get a link for you guys.
There you go, guys. So there's a link to the trunk service that should give you full details. I'll just quickly flick back over to our website one more time. So just to reiterate what we've gone through here today, you there will be this will hopefully be launching within <coughs> the next week. So you'll see this new add to trunk button, which will go alongside the add to cart, which and the add to wish list, which you already see on our website. Um, then all of these items will be added to your new trunk page, which you can monitor at any time. You can see whatever you've added into there and have the ability to have it sent out as well. Our checkout will be updated to clearly list um, when you go through the tr trunk to get it sent out to you. As uh, Rich mentioned earlier, we take payments whenever you add something to your trunk and then the postage is taken when you're ready to have it shipped out. And then you can customize some options with your trunk as well, which you can see here. And at the bottom of that web page, which I've just linked to, we've got a really nice section where you can share your comments and thoughts as well, which we'd really appreciate if you guys have anything to say. And then once it's launched, that's where you can leave us some feedback as well. Or if you can send an email to Richard directly as well, which there's details about right at the top. So anything like that is is hugely useful to us. So is there anything else you'd, you'd like to add while we're on stream, Rich? No, no, it's been superb, and thank you for thank you again, Jack, and thank you to everyone who's um, joined us. Brilliant, yeah. So I think we're nearly coming to the end there, anyway. So it's about a great time to wrap up. So just want to say thank you everyone for your fantastic comments there and all your great questions. As I say, we we are really looking forward to getting this service out there. I think you you guys have presented some really great um, ideas and use cases for how you're gonna make use of this service. So we look forward to seeing what you guys do with it, really and to receiving your comments um, regarding it and any feedback as well, which is, like I say, really appreciated. You can see a few more comments coming in as well, just about some products and things like that there. Um, so thanks for, for asking those too. But like I say, we do have other ways you can get involved with the community at the moment, especially with um, all the self-isolation, if we can get the words out, um, at the moment. Um, so you can join in on one of our live discussion sessions. Like I say, the next one's at three o'clock today, and I'll put a link in the chat to that. And there will be our VTAIL one-on-one bookings that you can do as well. So do make sure to take advantage of those. If you feel a little bit bored, you want to have a chat about something, or if you need to find out something about any models that are coming through, just hit us up and we can um, let you know everything about them. So I think that there about wraps it up today so thanks very much for everyone for joining us thanks rich and um, for joining in on the stream as well and um i think we'll see you guys next time great thank you very much see you guys bye